so in this example where we're just reading three names we're really limited right you can only read three names that's the limitation but it's really very beneficial to use loops with your files and that way what we can do is we can keep reading until we reach the end of the file so remember we talked about here this is the end of the file right here after the um, e there's an end of file marker out there you can't see it but it's there um, and what we can do is we can read names until we reach this end of file marker and that would allow us to you know include even more names as well so let's go back here and see what modifications we would need I'm just gonna um, use one string variable called name I'm still gonna open my file <clears throat> check to see if it's open properly and what I'm going to do here is I am going to use a loop and the loop is going to it's going to be a while loop and what I'm going to use is something called the EOF function uh, well input file dot EOF um, so what happens here is if it reaches the end of file marker this will return a true but what we wanted and then you know if it returns a true we can leave the loop but what we want is well it doesn't reach the end of file marker right so if it's not at the end of the file this will be false not false is true and then it will actually um, execute whatever's inside the while loop and here's what we're going to put inside the while loop Okay, so this is just going to be our one name variable, and you'll see in a minute why we only need one. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to see out our name variable. And I'll move this line here up a little bit higher. And I'm not going to need any of this. So using a loop, right, is really pretty helpful in this instance. So remember, we have these three names. Let's run it and see what happens. And we'll see Bob, Carol, and Dave. But we can come over here, right? We can add more names. And we can run this and it works for even more names. So this is um, much more efficient code because it works for any number of names that um, we might have, okay? Uh, I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna put a couple blank lines at the end and then I'm gonna run this program. And see how George comes out here twice? This is kind of a little problem that you're having because it doesn't find the end of file marker down to here. And the last name it read in was George. And that's why I said it's really important that you stop right after the last character because that puts your end of file marker right there. And that will ensure that your program runs correctly. Um, I'm going to show you one other thing. This is really my preference in working with input files. I think it's very clear. Um, the textbook does this a different way. And I'm going to show you how they do this in the textbook. And, and I'm not really, um, honestly, I'm not really a fan. All right, so I'm going to comment out this whole section of code. I can just hold down, uh, if I hold down the control key and hit the slash, you'll see it comments all these lines. If I do it again, it'll put them back in. And in the textbook, this is what you'll see. Um, And I'm going to run this to show you it still runs. Okay. I, I just don't like this. Um, what this is doing is if it reads in a name correctly or a string, 
that returns a true and then it will output this and it'll move to the next name and uh, it'll keep going and once it reads in the end of file marker this returns a false and it leaves so I want to talk a little bit about that just because you do see it in the textbook um, as I said it's really not my preference I think um, for beginning programmers that's really uh, somewhat easy to understand I mean I'm sorry somewhat difficult to understand and I think this is clear so this would be um, the format that I would use for this.